Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. What we have here is the T-connector. This is going to be our final project for marking period three. Now, I understand it looks completely complicated, but it's easier than what we think. So, uh, just a quick review. To complete this, we're going to create a drawing with some construction lines. We're going to use some, some, some center lines. We're also going to create uh, or we're going to utilize, sorry, the ISO circle feature where we create the ellipse. We're going to have to transfer a measurement because we don't have this measurement right here, but we have the angle. We're also going to have to copy. So to begin, what I'm going to do is I am going to make sure I have my screen set. Make sure you set your limits. We are working in Imperial. So we're going to select Imperial. We're going to make sure we set our limits. So we have our origin in the middle. We also are going to want to set our layer properties. Make sure you have center. Make sure you have construction, uh, dimension, and object. Okay? So to begin, I'm going to make sure I'm in a construction layer property. And I'm going to have my snap mode on. Make sure you have ortho mode on. Make sure you have ISO draft on. You want to make sure you're in the right plane, ISO plane right. Now, I'm going to begin. So, I'm going to create a T shape. I'm going to go from here to the origin, 2.5. I'm going to press escape. And I'm going to come from 2.5 all the way. Okay. Now, I'm going to press escape again. I'm going to go down three inches, and we're going to start our ISO circles, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the ellipse, axis end. We're going to select ISO circle. I'm going to go to that endpoint right here and create two. Sorry, I messed up. I'm going to go to this point right here. Make sure we press diameter. Then we're going to press 2. Now we have to create another ISO circle. Ellipse, ISO circle, find your center point, diameter 1. I'm going to do this for all three. I could also copy it, but I want to make sure I'm at the endpoints. So if you want to copy it, feel free. Just make sure you snap it to the endpoints, okay? Here we go. So now we have ourselves a base. Now, what I'm going to want to do is we're going to create center points right here. Sorry. I'm going to want to use tangent lines eventually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that up. Uh, basically to set that up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create lines down the middle. Sorry, let me turn off snap mode. One second. Do this 
two, so down. Okay. Then I'm going to want to create one right here. Two across. I have one more right here. Sorry. Two up. There we go. This is going to help us create tangent lines, okay? So, the reason why I want tangent lines is because I want to go across. And I also want to make sure it maintains my measurements. Now I go here. I'm going to put that at four. I'm going to go across two. And I'm going to go right back over here. Can you see that? So now that we have this base going on, uh, let's put this to the side real quick. I'm going to want to go into 2D drawing. Okay. Now I'm going to start about right here. I'm going to go across two, up two. Now I want to create an angle line. So I'm going to take off ortho, right? Ideally, we're at a straight line right here, right? This is 180 degrees. I want this line to be 37 degrees because that's what it calls for. So what I have to do is I have to subtract 180 from 40 degree. I'm sorry, 40 degree from 180. No, 37 from 180, sorry. And that makes it 143. So I'm going to go at an angle. I'm going to press tab. I'm going to type in 143. I don't really care what the length is because I just want to get an intersecting line between these two. After that, I'm going to trim. Remember, the angle we want is 37. Okay. Now I'm going to go into dimension. I'm going to go into linear. And your length is just under a half inch at 0.4929. Now, let's get back to the ISO drawing. Turn back on ortho mode. Turn back on ISO draft. Transferring the measurement is easy work. All we have to do is go back into our construction layer property. We're going to start at this point right here. We're going to type in 2. Press escape. I'm going to type, uh, I don't have to type in two because I already have the measurement there, two. Now I'm going to go up 0.4929. Then I'm going to connect it right here, and we're all set. So this is where we're at with it. Now, we're going to have to... Uh, yeah, let's start tracing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the circles real quick because I want the circles to be in our object layer property. So I'm going to click all circles, nothing but the circles. I'm going to change that to our object line. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go press escape. I'm going to click object. And I'm going to start tracing. Okay. So I go here, up, down, up again. I'm going to press escape. I'm going to start from the bottom. There we go. From here to this edge, to this edge. Okay. Now, I'm going to trim the circles away. 